out of the uh, workshop tonight to show you something on the scroll saw that's a lot of fun. And uh, if you've been to any of the scroll saw shows, you'll usually see someone doing a demonstration of these, usually Rick Hutchison. And uh, what he does is he cuts these little 3D deer, 3D deer um, out of a small piece of wood uh, without any pattern. Now, he does these in under 20 seconds, and he does them about a fourth this size. So it's really impressive to watch him do it. Um, he's a very skilled cutter, so I'm not going to attempt to match his time by any stretch. But I do want to show you how to do this, because if you have people come into your shop, and you just want to do a quick cut of, uh, on the saw for them, you can easily do this in under a minute with a little bit of practice. Uh, 20 seconds, that might be pushing it. So if you want to learn how to cut these, uh, there's a pattern I'll have available on the website and uh, you can go download that. But again, keep in mind that the pattern is just for reference. You really don't want to use it to make this cut because it's a lot more fun just to grab a piece of wood and cut it. So what you're going to need to do this is a block of wood that's uh, three quarters of an inch wide by about one inch uh, long. And uh, in this case I'm using... Uh, basswood because it's really soft but just some soft pine or anything like that will work fine and uh, then get yourself uh, in this case I'm using the number three blade to scroll reverse and we're going to start out by thinking about the project just for a second to cut in a 3D uh, pattern we have to cut the pr front profile in this case of the deer and the side profile of the deer and what we'll do here is we'll begin on the front side and we're basically going to come in let me get the demo here. What we're going to do is we're going to be looking at it like this. We're going to come up this leg, make the body, make the head, make the, the uh, left antler, the right antler, down the head, down the body, and down the outside of the leg. That'll be our first cut. Then we'll go up the inside of the leg, across the body, down the other inside of the leg, and that'll be our front profile. Once we get that done, then we'll lay the... Well, actually, there's a technique we have to do after that where we remove a piece, and I'll show you that in a minute. But then we'll turn it over and we'll cut the profile. And uh, the technique I'm going to show you is how to be able to see this profile so you can cut it and keep everything lined up as far as your head and your body. So with that, let's get started. I'm going to start on the front profile. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, just like I said, I'm going to start with the front leg. And you just judge the size as you go. So let's say a front leg not about that long. Now I'm going to do a small arc for the body, small arc for the head. I'm going to come up, do the left angle, make my turn, come back down, cross the top of the head, then go up and do the right angle. You want to get them about the same height. I'm going to come back down. Make an arc for this side of the head. Make an arc for this side of the body. And then back out the other legs on the outside. So there's our first cut. Now we're going to flip the piece around and we're going to come up and do the inside cutouts for the legs. So you want to try to get the legs about the same thickness. So start in whatever you think is appropriate. You're going to go up. You're going to go across the bottom of the body just slightly until you get about the same thickness on the other leg. Come back out. That piece right there is waste. Okay, now before we flip this over and do our side profile, because we've completed our front pro profile now, we need to have some way to be able to see where the legs end, the body starts, the head starts, and the antlers start and stop. The easiest way to do that is to just remove one whole side of the piece. So come up here next to where the antler ends, cut across until you get just to the antler, and then stop and remove that piece. It's just waste. Now when we lay it over on the side, you can see that we can see the profile. Here's the leg, here's the body, the head, and the antler. So now when we come in to cut our side profile, we can use that pre-existing profile to know where to start and stop. So what we're going to do is we're going to start at the front of the front leg, and we're going to go up until we meet the body. So let's go in about like that. We're at the body. We'll make a curve for the front of the body. Now we're at the head. So come out and make the bottom go. Back up to the top of the head. Now we're at the antlers. We're going to make the front antler. So we're going to sweep up until we meet the top. Try to hold this all together as best you can. Make your turn. Now when you come back down on this antler, Go ahead and put a few points on it as you come down. 
to do a little rocking motion here to make it look more like an ant. We're back, back down at the top of the head. We're going to come across just a little bit. And we're going to come up and make the back end. Again, I'm making these points as I go to give it more of an antler look. I'm going to go ahead and make my turn. I'm going to come back down the back of the antler. I'm at the head again. I'm going to make the back of the head, which is just a slight curve right here. Now I'm at the body. I'm going to come across the top of the body so I get about to where I think the tail should be. I'm going to come up, make my little deer tail, come back down. I'm at the body, make his butt, come back out for the back leg. There's our side profile cut with the exception of the inside cut out for the leg. So again, I'm going to start down here at the bottom, cut up the back of the front leg, across the body, make a little bit of a curve there. And then before you get to the cutout for the back leg at about the same distance, come back down and out. And now when we start removing all of our waste, there's our little 3D deer. And the faster you learn to cut these, um, and the smaller you can make them, the more impressive it looks. But if your grandchild comes into the shop and you want to show him something on the saw real quick, this is a real fun little project. And uh, it really will impress just about anybody that comes into your shop. So learn to cut these. Learn to cut it uh, faster than I just did it. The faster you, did, you do it, the more impressive it is. So that's what I wanted to show you tonight. Nothing real uh, exciting, but a lot of fun to do.